Welcome to the Motherhood in 12 Months. It's a monthly challenge that I set for the students who have been on my motherhood workshops. Um, the Motherhood Workshops is a place where we empower women to use their creativity through photography. Um, this month's challenge was to take a documentary photograph and to chat with me about the submission is Wendy Aldis. Hello. Hello. Nice to be here. Um, so I followed Wendy's work for a while um, and we actually met in person at the opening of my 100 Women of Oxfordshire at the North Wall um, Art Gallery last year. Uh, Wendy's recent work, My Father's Things, um, came about following the death of her father when she realised she could continue to photograph him by making images of his possessions. Um, and I love your work. Um, I think the first time I saw your photograph was in the jam factory um, okay. of the... Um, the nail brush? The nail brush. I yeah. absolutely loved it. Um, yes. yeah, and tell me, and you've got a book out now? Yes, yeah, I self-published um, a book, a selection of the images from the project, which in total was more than 9,000 photographs, well, I because didn't... I photographed everything he had. Um, so, yeah, that was quite a, quite a feat. And, so, and ha is 9,000 in the book, or did you cull it down? No, I wouldn't subject anyone to, to that. I mean, I think that would be... <laughs> <laughs> so no um quite a lot of editing went on um but there are a lot of photographs in it um and uh they, they really paint a portrait of of him as a person but also show the sorts of things that people have when they've lived a very long life which which he had yeah yeah no it's lovely well i can't wait to get hands on a copy and have a good look at that right you are here to go through the students work so what i'm going to do i'm going to share my screen uh like so and I might go off so you probably won't see me oh just just spoiling it I'm going all the way to the no oh, no <laughs> there we are right can you see my screen I can thank you yes okay perfect um so yes as I said this month was documentary and I always try and um take a photograph as well to join in um, with the students. Um, sometimes I do find it hard as much as they do um, and with time challenges and all the rest of it. But I do I do enjoy setting myself a challenge as well. So this is my daughter painting her room. Very good. OK, so number one, Katie. Right. OK, well, I mean, I think this really does paint a good picture of a, of a domestic scene, doesn't it? Um, lots of things going on. It tells you a lot about this family's life um yeah. and and you know it, it tells you about the person the number of documentary pictures do also tell you the story of the person behind the camera in a way um because they're just getting on with what they're doing and taking absolutely no notice of let's say mum who's who's taking the image yeah um i mean i I do think, and you may have touched on this, that you do have to be careful when you take pictures of, of children without too many clothes on, um, yeah. just in terms of thinking about what they will think of it later in life if you've shared it around. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, there's been lots of conversations in the group about that, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's just a fine line, isn't it? Because, you know, as an artist and as a mum and a photographer, this is everyday life. Um, but yes, we're when you start looking at social media you know that's a whole other kind of issue of where and how you share it kind of thing um for yeah that yeah and i also wonder i mean i like photos with a lot happening in them mm. i am wondering if um a second image perhaps without the fire lighters might might be crisper because it's leading my eye off a lot up to the uh fire lighters on top of the the, the fire there yeah 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 Oh no, that's interesting. That's funny because I quite like that. I like the chaos of it, and I like almost on the right-hand side, it's proper chaotic family life, and on the left-hand side, it's almost like a painting still life. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very, it's, it is very beautiful, and I like it myself. But I, yeah. I'm just trying to think what some other people would would say about it. Yeah, too. I see what you're saying. Definitely. Okay, brilliant. Okay, Zoe. <laughs> Well, so much of documentary ph photography is about what you intend your image to say, I think. Oh. And when you take a photograph, you know what you're trying to capture, what you're trying to say with it. Um, and the person who's looking at it has none of that background. And, and so they look at it afresh. 
Yeah. Now, I have no idea what the person intended me to think, but I tell you what, how I read this picture yeah. is that those two mums are absolutely delighted to see each other. Yes. And they're really engrossed with each other. And this girl is just beginning to go from enjoyment to, into anxiety. <laughs> right. Oh, my God, that's really interesting. Yeah. And it, you could almost put it up as an image of neglect and that could be terribly insulting to the photographer um, but I do think it's always interesting to see what other people read into a picture well it's funny I, I mean I definitely read that and Zoe when we say neglect <laughs> please there's no judgment on you uh, <laughs> as, as a parent but uh, I totally got that as well in, in quite um, a humorous way I, I almost imagined the, the couple on the bench you know, you could almost imagine it being a couple having a kiss, you know, there or something, you know, and, and, and the child yeah. the in the foreground because they're out of focus, because, uh, you know, the, the grown-up's eyes are on, on them. Do you know I mean, it's kind of like two different worlds going on. Yeah. And I, I like the fact that the, the child is apparently the main thing in the picture because she's mm. so close. But actually she is and she isn't because of her being out of focus, which I really like. Yeah, no, I definitely, I really like that as well. well yeah, so no, it's a good picture, of, as I say, whether you intended to say that or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, very good. Well done, Zoe. Okay, Belen. Ah, uh, yes. Well, what a, an absolute riot of, of colour this is. Yeah. Uh, it, it really puts across to me, well, and riot of colour colour and furry friends. <laughs> yes. And and it really puts across to me the, the, the reason why children love fair ground so much because it's just you know it's exciting from a kiddie point of view isn't it it really um, is. but at the same time there's that undercurrent because you've got covid in it because you've got the sa hand sanitizer because you've got the, the the fairground person with a mask on so yes. it sets it very much in the time and i think that the composition on this is is absolutely spot on i could i could almost you could almost turn it upside down yes I, I, as i was staring at the teddies upside down yeah it's almost um it's so symmetrical it's such a pleasing image um the composition it's very, um, it reminds me of Martin Parr, Eat Your Heart Out type of thing. It's It's got yeah. you know, an element of that of him in it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah. But Belen has definitely, she only came on the workshop, um, not this time, but on, the, on last. So she's very recently joined us and her composition has become outstanding. She's yeah. you know, it's stronger and stronger. Very good. Well done, Belen. Uh, Emedy. Uh, oh, yes, it has moved. Ah, oh, no, you see, here's another one where I think the composition is really, really good. Yeah, works works well for me here. It's so interesting because here is a family in a wide open space, um, you know, on the top of the downs somewhere, you know, absolutely fantastic. And yet um, the photographer has chosen to portray them as this um, either tight-knit family or... Are they still feeling restricted? I'm sorry, but unfortunately, we, we all look at photographs through the eyes of the new normal that we've been going through. Yeah. Um, so I, I see this very much as they've been restrained by lockdown and, and they're sort of still there, even though they're outside. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I love it. And also, I think because they're in their pyjamas and... Um, her husband this is her husband here he's in his kind of slacks and i don't know it's, it's definitely still got that i mean you know all, well all, all of these pictures were, were created this month so it it, it is right now <laughs> i mean we yeah. are it's where we are we're kind of coming out but we're not out yet to... yeah and i like the movement in it as well you've got the, the the one child coming up the hill moving the other one with the legs going across you know it's, yeah it's really yeah. really well captured i thought i'd be interested to know if it is full frame right or been cropped i think it's full frame okay well we'll have to ask emily um i mean great. for me i think this is one of her strongest images um when when it got put in the group i was you know again just the composition she's nailed it the colors the freedom of the sky you know you can almost be there you know the, the last the last hour of sunshine it, it you know it's got the story it's got that emotion which i always like in a photograph you know if you can get some emotion up across you you, you won your audience you know that, yes. that battle brilliant yeah. work, Midi. really good work uh, Elisa ah right yes <laughs> we've got another in interior 
domestic shot here. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know whether this was um, one of several taken or whether it was a one off, but that gesture of the child towards the grapes yeah. is, is, is captured so, so well. <laughs> They're not going to get the grapes because dad is so involved yeah. <laughs> in what he's doing. Um, really, really caught a, a, a moment there. And, and yet at the same time, it's quite interesting because there, there is a place laid for a third person. Mm. And, and so, again, the person taking the photograph is potentially quite in the photograph because I suspect it's their place. Um, I, I mean, at first I thought, dad had three phones and thought that was a bit excessive but then I thought no hang on a minute there's there's someone else there uh and, and I like that the fact that the photographer's just taken a, 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 a just a step back literally and metaphorically from what's going on in the family and, yeah. and just caught this lovely moment um and I think for me again although I like busy images I'm really glad that this is black and white because right. I think it concentrates the eye on on the on the two people yeah, that's true. We we talked about that on our. Um, I, I run a Lightroom. I ran a Lightroom workshop, and um, you know the reason. Yeah, why sometimes black and white can simplify it um, for the viewer of where to look or what to look. It like, kind of declutters things. Yeah. If color, if color is um, adding or, or making it too noisy for for the viewer. Because I mean, you can still see that there are colorful things there. The plates on the wall and some of the jars on the. Mm. Uh, on the shelf but you don't need to be distracted by them no absolutely well done elisa okay tracy <laughs> oh, this is a lovely moment isn't it between parent and, and child and here the composition the lines of the furniture draw your eyes in to, yeah. to the main subject You'd probably be looking at them anyway, because we tend to look at people if they're in the image. But nonetheless, that really, really helps always those lines pointing towards something. Um, and the, uh, the the light in her hair, of course, is 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 lovely. Mm. Uh, I like and I, I like the fact that you cannot see the head of the other person. Mm. You know, that leaves it as slightly uh, asking questions about the, who they are. Um, but I think it also means that you concentrate on on this daughter, and it's a real it's a real moment, really, isn't it? Um, it is. um, that, that, yeah. That's been captured. Yeah, it, it, it's true about the leading lines as well. From the you know, again, a really really strong composition. Tracy's compositions, uh, she's very very good at composition. She's definitely got that eye, and I really like the fact, and it's such a small detail that the hair dryer isn't um, overlapping the head. So you, you know, like so you can really yeah. see silhouette of the hair the head the hair hair dryer and and so yes. it just really makes it kind of quite easy to read it's a very easy pleasing photograph to read yes i mean the one thing i would say um is i'm not quite sure whether that's something on the window ledge that you can see that dark piece between the the the, the adult's arms Yes, I, yeah, I understand. It's um, again, it's that overlapping, which, especially in a silhouette, is so distracting. Not so distracting. Yeah. Sorry, that's an exaggeration. But that the, that bit of overlapping is is a distraction. I, I hear what you're saying. So if it's an item on the window ledge, and and that was going to be taken again, then I think move it away. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe if it isn't some Photoshop, dare I suggest maybe it take it away. Photoshop's way beyond us. We're not. We're not into Photoshop. <laughs> Um, but I guess what you could do is um, move the little girl to the right a little bit more and get the the person who's drying her hair to kind of mask it. You know, there are there are other ways, but then that wouldn't be documentary so much. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, there's many. Yeah. Ways, but, and, and I and I also perfectly understand that um, there's a sort of purity that I've certainly been subject to in my own work, where you don't move something because you are documenting what is there. Yeah, but yeah. actually, nobody would ever have known that no. that was there. So it was all right. It is all right to move it. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, I totally agree with that. Well done, Tracy. Good job. Uh, Louise. <laughs> oh, this is a real glimpse into a, into a man's life, isn't it? No. Uh, and of the time, you know, with hairdressers' clothes and all the rest of it. I don't know. I just, for me, this, yeah. But yeah, no, super, isn't it? I mean, there he is, sat on the little. I've got a stool like that for getting a little taller to take photos. Right. Yes. And 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 
you know, he's he he can't be, but he seems oblivious to the photographer. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it, you know, really, really good. And that capturing that moment where he's holding his ear down. Yeah. <laughs> For me, so, that's what makes this because it does, you know, because it really helps. Um, it, it makes it more believable that he's totally unaware of me. And I've just now had a peek into, you know, something that's going on in their house. And I really believe that he's in, you know, that he's in the middle of cutting his hair and he's concentrating. I don't know. I, I, I think it's an incredible shot. It, it almost makes me feel, you know, I can feel my ear. Yes. Somehow, you know, it, it's very, it, it, it's, it just makes you physically almost sense what he's doing, although I've never shaved my head. But, um, yeah, no, I think that that's, uh, that, that's really, really, really good. It's, yeah. It's, those little things which I love about documentary that you would never think about posing someone go can you hold your ear like that you just that you just hold no, it. no. And uh, absolutely. That, yeah and then so to capture that for me this is real a real documentary shot very pleasing composition you know I, I've engaged with it and and it's of the times yeah it ticks so many boxes yeah and, and and if it I mean it is in the time of Covid and yes as you say lots of people having to take the <laughs> looking after of their hair into their own hands yeah um and, and and for me there's quite a lot on the ground so I suspect he just got to his limit <laughs> of, what, yeah. of what he could deal with <laughs> that's true yeah um, but of course it is also timeless because people yes. do do that sort of thing at other times so yeah yeah you can bring it out when they have one of those head shaving um challenges and things like that it, it 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 will last a long time that picture absolutely yeah well done louise good work uh creeper well this is this is interesting i mean it's beautifully done the lighting is beautiful the, it, it's really super and i first thought gosh i'm seeing a real tender moment caught on film mm. And then I realised that her arms aren't actually holding the child. Mm -hmm. They're not touching. There's something else going on here, um, which I find really quite interesting. And you know, I can't, I can't quite work out what it is. There's a, that, that gives a sort of sadness to it for me. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, I, I like that about it. I like the fact that I'm having to think about it. Um, and, and the fact that I can't resolve what's going on is, is fine. Um, mm. Yeah, that, it definitely raised questions for me. Um, and again, in a, it, it's not um, your standard photograph because of that. It, it makes you stop and whether, it, you know, two seconds later she is hugging her, I imagine yeah. that might be. But I find it so unexpected that mm. I'm looking at the photo, which was two seconds before, not the bit after. Um, and like you, it's raised questions. I want to know who these people are, what their relationship is. What, yeah, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's really interesting. It, it's, it's taken me. Um, I, I'm surprised how interested I am in this almost everyday photo that, you know, is very we've seen before, but it's totally making me look at it in a completely different way. And I think for me, part of that is the beauty of it. Mm. Um, because it's a very beautiful photo, you, 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 you're you prepared to take time um, with it. Mm. Mm. I, I don't know if you've talked much about if, if you caption an image. I think for me, this one particularly, the caption could detract or could help. Mm. It's quite a difficult thing to get captions right, isn't it? It is. I mean, yeah, we, we haven't. We, we, um, I, I wouldn't feel <laughs> qualified enough, I think, because <laughs> um, it's the same as you. I, um, yeah, it's it's very difficult caption image, but I don't know. I, I like this. I, I like the fact that that movement slightly yeah. disturbs, or not disturbs, but yeah, raises questions or like why. I want to know why. Yes. Creeper, why, yeah. why did you choose this frame and not the two seconds afterwards? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want a caption to tell me too much, to be perfectly honest. No, no, no. no. Lovely. Well done, Creeper. Really good. You, you've, you've definitely made us think. Okay, Sophie. I, I had a quick look through them beforehand, and this made me smile broadly first time. It still makes me smile broadly. Uh, it's such a delight. It's so well seen. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 
talk about a picture telling a thousand words. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's just splendid, isn't it? It's somebody's finally got away, that 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 they're, they're getting away for a break after so much that's been going on, and <laughs> this wonderful seagull. <laughs> I imagine the parents sharing. Well, not sharing, but having gin and tonic at the back, yes. watching the entertainment that they have provided um, yeah. for, for this child. And I'm sure he's kicking his legs with joy. Yes. Um, you can just see that slightly. So, yeah. And, and again, the light, it's just you've got that touch on the side of the balcony and on the, cur uh, on the, um, on the curtain and the cushion. Yeah. Um, it's, I, I presume either late evening or, or, or early. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that's a, a really, really good shot. Me too. For me, this could literally be a painting. I just feel like it's, it just looks so well, you know, planned and composed and, you know, and obviously it wasn't. <laughs> you know what I, mean? <laughs> I, I mean, it's just, you know, again, the placing of the, the bird as well. You know, it couldn't be more uh, joyous, you know. <laughs> it's just yeah. fun. Yeah. And it, you can almost feel a little... Uh, you know the the bird being quite animated and teasing <laughs> the the poor baby who's locked in not just the doors but the you know in straps and everything it's it's almost yeah. like the little uh, flirtation going on between them or a little tease game between them kind of thing uh, um yeah and the colors i just love the colors it's got like yeah. you know blue sea the blue cot the blue chair you know just really comes together so very well. good palette yeah i think i think sophie nailed that bird onto the balcony in just yeah. the right so I think that's... <laughs> it's probably a stuffed bird isn't it so you just brought it with you it's just i mean you know i mean that's that's documentary you know went down there you know a, a minute later this might yeah. not have been there that's documentary yeah. photography, and that's what's amazing about documentary photography it's you know it's the right time the right place kind of thing yeah yeah definitely well done sophie okay carrie well we talked on, on a couple of occasions about how useful black and white is mm. i like all the color in this image mm. I, I i think that i mean i haven't seen it in black and white but i think that this works so well in color you've got all these colors you've got such a variety of things happening and 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 yet there's this small child mm. not not doing anything at all the the only thing that's not in sort of bright colors and yeah it looks terribly happy to me just lying there with that wonderful pose with hands behind the the, the, the neck um and and eyes are closed aren't they and just looks so relaxed and at one with the world um mm. and uh, i i think that's a very a very special moment and i think you know that's one of the photos that will come out for 18th birthday um definitely <laughs> It's interesting because for me, I mean, I'm a big fan of Carrie's work, as she knows. Um, I totally agree with the colour. I'm a massive fan of kind of colour and um, and chaos, colour and chaos. Yeah, I love yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Um, and I, and the colour palette, you know, I, you know, the, the the clothes, the the brick, you know, they all kind of match. I just got a slight issue with the chart. I don't know. I don't know if I'm not being told enough. I don't know if it looks too cutie. I don't know if I feel like he's posed. I'm not sure what it is, but um, the rest of it I love. <laughs> right. And I could enjoy this photo even without him. Like for me, he doesn't make the picture. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you um, mean. So yeah. So sorry, Carrie. I don't know. Um, I don't know what better advice to give, but there's definitely something that I'm not getting from him. I think maybe I feel like he looks too cute and is too posed. Perhaps. Um, I don't know. But but he doesn't bother you, does he? No, I like the shape that's created by the elbows mm -hmm. um, and the, the fact that the legs are either being crossed or being uncrossed. Um, I, I take your point um, entirely about being a, maybe a bit too cute, but yeah, I, I, I think borderline on, on that for me. But I, I think on the whole, because I think, and I may be wrong, <laughs> because I think there's a certain amount of chaos. Mm. <laughs> In 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 that that home, in a, a vibrancy about it, that he is just if it is a he, they are getting away from. Yeah, um, yeah. I think yeah. And also, sorry, I don't want to spend too long on this one, but 
like you know all the chalk on the wall like i just love it i just yeah. love it and yeah. I, you can, so she's got about 10 children maybe 20 carrie no i'm joking but it, she's got <laughs> a lot of children so the chaos there for me it's chaos but it's love you know like it's busy and it's lovely. Oh, and yes, lovely. absolutely. Yeah, because look at all the things that they've got yeah. to play with. And yeah, very definitely. But maybe if um, if the child was jumping off the top of that house yeah. or something. I know. I think, I think that's what I'm probably, yeah. I think, not the fact he's relaxing, but maybe it's the smile even. I don't know. I feel like he's aware that the photograph's been taken. Actually, yeah. that's what I realise. Yeah, good point. Um, and whether he is or not is, is kind of irrelevant. But I, as the viewer, feel like he's aware that that you know there's, yeah. there's a photo that's been taken of him so that's that's my issue with it actually yeah. sorry carrie i got there in the end <laughs> <laughs> right i'm going to move on well hello carrie really good work uh, cassandra oh there's an element of opti optical illusion in this for me because i first of all thought i was seeing the front of a house being built with its windows absolutely same for me <laughs> and then suddenly it's like hang on a minute this is on the ground there's a chap sitting there um and it can't be windows because it's not windows and so why does anybody need so many underground voids in a house <laughs> they're building i thought that was a bit suspect myself oh did uh, you <laughs> <laughs> body's going to be buried and well that. exactly yes <laughs> exactly i mean i can see that one of them's got lots of pipes underneath so yes. presumably that's underfloor heating um but as i'm not a builder i don't know how many of those apertures you need for underground heating. <laughs> so um I think this is one where I actually did want to know more. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't really quite sure. Yes, yes, it's building, but is it building or is it demolishing? Yes. Or, I, I wasn't I wasn't quite sure. It does look as if they're building up walls. Yeah. Um so I I think for me uh, I wanted to know a little bit more about what was happening. Fine. And I guess so Cassandra in that sense um you as the photographer could either show more or wait for more builders to pass or I you know like to add more story I guess um for me I totally like exactly what you said I felt like it would had been almost like a, a, a house that had just fallen down and had flattened um I really like it I, I like it for its kind of um you know for being so kind of obscure I guess um, and I'm constantly reading it and looking for more, and I love that in a picture. So, yeah, yeah. And, and also, I'm interested to know where Cassandra was when taking the photograph. I mean, is this happening right outside her bedroom window, or you know, what has just been going on for months, and she's fed up with it? You know, yeah. all those things going on, yeah, um, yeah, potentially behind the scenes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well done, Cassandra. Okay, Lucy. This is another quiet moment for a small child, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yes, I, 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 you know, what's he thinking? I like the slight tilt of the head there. Um, mm. that it's not straight on. Um, and I like the light on his back, really, ex uh, you know, sort of a, a, the contours of, of his, his back. It's a very mm. childlike back, isn't it? Mm, yeah. um, and and I like the light through the walls of the lilo and the fact you've got the dip where you can see his trunks through. Um, mm. It's 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 telling me about a moment. Um, I think this would work really really well as part of a series. Mm, interesting. That to have a series of what's happening in this garden. Are, you know, are there any more people around? Is is he sitting there lonely or you know what's what's going on for him there? Mm -hmm. I think she's I think she's really captured a, a, a very thoughtful moment. Yeah, and, and as you said, like again it raises questions, which is such a good thing. Like I can I can imagine him daydreaming, you know, just moving his swirling his feet around. I love I love this kind of shapes in this um this photograph. Mm. Uh, the blue colours and stuff. Or is he sulking? You know, has he like gone off? Or you know, like we don't know where he is. I think you're right because of the tilt of the head and his body looking quite relaxed. It looks more like quite a dreamy. Um, he, he's gone off and having having a bit of a daydream moment, which I love. Yes, and I think the shadows of the trees or bushes behind. I think that really adds to that sort mm. of almost dreamlike. And I really like the fact that the the, the the paddling pool is cut off. It's not 
that yeah. not included the whole thing. That was, I think, to me, that's a really important part of this image. Yeah, and that you've got, like, I love, I, yeah, I totally agree. And, and the fact the left, you can see it all, but the right could go on for miles, who knows? Yes, <laughs> the world's longest paddling pool. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, well done, Lucy, really good work. Um, Ellie. All right, well, this took me longer than it might take some people to, to work out. Um, because it's quite a long time for me since we've done um, child's bed bath time. <laughs> right. And I was thinking, uh, okay, are they washing up in the bath? Uh, what are they quite doing? I assume it's things that have been used in the bath at bath time. Ah. Could be wrong, could be wrong, but that's a definite shower head. Um, and there are two bath bath boats there. Yeah. So I'm sort of assuming I'm now reading into that a whole bath time. And this is afterwards when the children are out, the water's all gone away. And then this is what's left in, in the bottom of the bath. It sounds as if you've read it differently, though, Philippa. I did. For me, this reminded me of your work, actually. Um, right. This, for me, I really um, I love this because I have to read the photograph, like really read it like, like yourself. But my story was different. And, right. and I don't know if I'm right or not, because I'm not sure if I know this or not. I feel like they are, everything's being washed in the bath. Because at the beginning, on first, the shower head just looks like part of, you know, the cutlery or whatever, you know, and you really yeah. need to go, it's, it's a shower head. Oh, it's like, where are you? So I got the feeling that they might be having um, building work done. Ah, and everything yeah. was being washed in the bath. I mean, I might be completely wrong, um, but that's what I got. So these are the washed dishes. Yes. Uh, and and anything else that goes along <laughs> that you have to wash um, <laughs> when you're having build done, I guess. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's it. but I love the color. And it looks like the bath's pink. And if it is, I'd love to see that a bit more. Um, yes, for me, I wondered whether it could perhaps be shot again with slightly different lighting. Mm. Just to not have. Sorry. No, it's difficult, isn't it? On on these, uh, just for me, the, the the difference between the light at the top and the dark at the bottom was a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. um, it's all basically natural light. Like everyone, yeah. Who, yeah, we shoot natural light, so yeah, you can see. Yeah, you can see, yeah, how the bottom is darker kind of thing. Well, we you, will... you can always get a sheet. You can always get a white sheet in, a, in something okay. like this and bounce the light back. I mean, I'm very much, although my father's things was not done in natural, natural light, <laughs> yeah. but I am, have always worked in natural light up until that point. Right. Um, and, and there are one or two things you can do to just get a little bit more light into the, the shadow areas. Okay. Mm. okay. But I like the fact that she's reflected in the spoons. Oh, yeah. You know, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, no, I think that's good. Yeah, it is. Well done, Ali. Really good. Uh, Tanya. <laughs> well, that is such a lovely example of an image that really can only be taken by someone in the family, isn't it? I yeah. mean, that is such... It, it's it's lovely it's well composed the mm. moment is right whether or not she knows she's being photographed she looks to me as if she's just dropped off yeah same. Um, perhaps having been going through the book and that getting her tired she's going to get a quick neck of course sleeping like that but um, yeah. she can almost imagine her dribbling you know like she's <laughs> totally just bonked She's surrounded by all of her absolutely favourite things. I mean, there's hardly room for her there. And I love the way that this creature in the front, a, a, a mm. cat-like creature, is watching her. Yes. That's so, so lovely. Um, it's a very precious, I'm going to come in and tuck you into bed now, and I'm expecting Tanya to take the book away and just adjust the cushions or the, the pillows and, and, you know, get her settled in for, for the night. Um, mm -hmm. So that is a, 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 I think it's a terrific example of how you photograph what is around you that might seem very everyday to you, but to other people, 
um, you know, it isn't every day. It, it holds a real resonance. Yeah, yeah, and that's basically where the motherhood workshops grew from. Was that kind of concept of, you know, this is you're consumed with this right now of you know making sure this this little precious life is, uh, you know, that you're looking after it and stuff. And and so yeah, for me, yeah, you know, I, I think it's an incredible photo and and well done on composition. Tanya's been working hard on her composition, and you know, it's really paid off yeah. here. The only one yeah. thing I would say is that bottle for me doesn't like it doesn't fit with kind of the, the fluffiness of the rest of it like that mm -hmm. one plastic and that bold color is just you know I, I would just nip that out quickly that would be my <laughs> only one criticism of this photo okay yeah. Tanya you can fun? always put it back later yes exactly <laughs> okay yeah, um, yeah. okay so um, here we have a, another black and white one and, and look how well it works for particularly for those clouds um, oh, yeah. I, I, I really like the amount of space that's been left for the sky. Yes. Um, this is, you know, this is a, a, a well-documented um, feature of, of Brighton. Yes. Um, and um, I think that that, that composition is, is not so usual. And so I like that. I like the fact that it's um, portrait yeah. orientated rather than landscape, which they so often are. Um, yeah, actually for, for that. square. And she squared it up. I think. Is it absolutely square? Oh, I'm not sure. Now you've got, she's, yes, it'll, you've, you've completely changed the, maybe, is it? But anyway. And, uh, anyway. Bit, yeah. Yeah. No, so, so I like that. I like the fact that there's a, a, a bit of movement in the, uh, in, in the, the birds. Mm, okay. um, it, it's, it's not telling me much of a story, I have to say. There are mm. people on it, but of course mm. you're too far away, really. Um, so if she could just have got somebody to sort of jump off, you know. That would be <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Um, yeah, and that's really interesting with documentary photography, even though you're documenting, um, I think possibly because it's such a well-documented um, uh, peer, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, you want something more than what you've seen, um, perhaps. I mean, I'm liking, like, the fact that you said it was black and white, like, you know, underneath, like... Um, yes. I mean, for me, that's a really interesting part of the photo. Yeah, lots of crisscrosses of the steel girders and things. Yeah, yeah. especially in black and white, just because, you know, it's really silhouette and just quite interesting kind of shapes and images and... Uh, shapes and images, shapes and patterns. Yeah. Um, down there. But yeah, well done, Idle. Good job. Yeah. Uh, Nicola. There's another moment of, of concentration and of not paying any attention to, to the person taking the picture. Uh, I do have to say that, again, you know, when we look at photographs, there's so much of what we're experiencing ourselves mm -hmm. um, that make us see things in an image that ha have perhaps no bearing whatsoever on it. I, I recently watched the um, third Jumanji film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And this tin at the front, I'm mm -hmm. thinking, any minute now, the drums are going to start beating and it's going to light up. And these children are going to be sucked into <laughs> this Jumanji game. Yeah, 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 it's true. Um, which I do recognise that, Nicola, you probably had absolutely no intention of, of, of putting yeah. that across <laughs> whatsoever. Um, but I, I, I like the light very much on this, on, on the, their faces, on the floor, under the table and, and round by the sofa. The lovely, um, great interior design of the blanket against the sofa and, and so forth. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't know what you think. I sort of would also like to see it at a slightly different angle. Mm -hmm. um, because I am drawn to the writing that's up on the wall, which is interesting. But I can't, I mean, I can read it. But I'm, I'm wondering, what do you think, Philippa, about also taking it from... A, a different angle so perhaps from the corner of the table looking in that way you wouldn't see the washing machine and I appreciate that that's a really good section of the image I really like the washing machine section mm. um, I think with a lot of pictures it's always worth taking a number of images from a slightly different perspective if you're mm. taking landscape orientated take portrait not necessarily in this one but a lot of times 
tape portrait as well, so that you've got some images to compare so you can select your favourite from perhaps three or four. I'm not saying take loads and loads of images. Um, did, did, what, what do you think about that, Philip? Do you think that would attract? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I'd have to see it to have a comment. Um, yeah. But I think, um, like you, I really like the colours, you know, the greys, the, the soft greys, the studs, you know, which matches the box as well. I'm slightly, the, the only thing that I find jarring, because I quite like my eyes wandering to each, you know, having a poke at the washing machine and having a poke at the post. I, I quite like kind of, you know, you're almost having a little insight into someone's home. And so when, yeah. when you get like this, you can, you can wonder. Um, I guess I'm more like, I think it's, again, the bottle, the bright pink bottle, which don't get me wrong, in kind of like proper chaotic um, uh, images work. But in this, it's 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 just stand. Everything else looks quite fluffy and calm. And then that bright pink, pink bottle doesn't work for me. Also, the gadget um, on the left, I, I'm assuming it's like an iPad or a game or something, but I don't yeah. really know what it is. And it's just a big, black, ugly kind of thing and I, I have no for me it's like interrupting like me looking at the girl because it's blocking yeah. do you know what I mean so I, I think those kind of things whereas just seeing the, the boy like a little bit of his face and I can see he's on a tablet like that's fine like being yeah. On, yeah. on a tablet isn't the problem but yeah I just think that's a little bit ugly I think is what I'm trying to say yeah I think so and and I can't I mean I can't tell what she's doing um perhaps yeah. that doesn't matter too much but again perhaps from a slightly higher perspective even yeah um, yeah yeah that's true yeah exactly you've got that really nice set of, of steps there yes. over in the kitchen area bring those over and get up higher <laughs> yeah and even those steps in the picture I think work do you know what I mean? yes I do too the color, yeah. the color matches there's a pink cushion there um so yeah so but well done Nicola really really good yeah um okay Katie okay well this is intriguing yeah. Because those steps are attached to that bed. Mm -hmm. The person is on the other side. And I can't see that there's another bed as a bunk bed currently constructed above this bed. Where is this child going? <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. Again, it makes me think. It makes me tell my own story, draw my own conclusions. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it's what? Why are they that side of the steps? <laughs> That's true. Actually, I just assumed it was a bunk bed. Well, it must be a bunk bed. It, it could still be with one of those sort of voids that you put, pop your head through and you climb through. But yeah, um, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. It, it could be something completely different. And I want to know: is is the child going up there because they're going up to bed and they're being well behaved, or are they actually? not doing what they're meant to and and getting out of the way of parental grip and you know it's so yes I really like the fact that this this does tell well it tells whatever story I want to see in it I yeah, think yeah, really, yeah. rather than tells me what to, to think which is great yeah and I think because the, the it looks like it's tiptoeing doesn't it be, just because the the nature of the what the feet look like yes. and I also look like in the bed it, it, it looks almost like someone else is hiding under the covers there or you know there's, there's, there's some mystery going on in this photo yes right? well a good point i mean has that child put the pillow because i don't think it is a person actually it could be but put the pillow <laughs> under to pretend they're in bed yes. and upstairs into whatever is above and um, they're, they're sneaking off to to the night the local nightclub aren't they <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah so it's really, really, really well seen. And also, I, I mean, I suspect it was quite difficult to take because I don't think it's necessarily a very large room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, to be, I mean, I can imagine Katie was pressed against the wall trying to get as much in as, as possible. Um, yeah. and, I, and I'm glad she got as much in as she has, but no more. Yeah, yeah. No, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That is everyone. You have a terrific set of students there. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to come back to you if I can. Sorry about this. Yay. Um, yeah, they are amazing, aren't they? Like, yeah. Yeah, so impressed. Yeah, very so, good. So, without a further ado, have you chosen your winner? Well, that was the most difficult thing of all. I mean, that's really, really, really difficult. But I think for me, 
for all sorts of reasons. But in the main, the response that it that I that it draws from me every time, it's it's the seagull. That 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 would be the oh, one for me. So lovely. Oh, that's Sophie. I'm just going to get. But it's a one. very close run thing, I have to say, because Was there are it? so many. Oh yeah, because there are so many good images there. Really. Yeah. yeah. So the, there's either natural gift or you're just a superb tutor, Philippa. <laughs> Well, I do think they're, I mean, all of them are incredible. And what's really lovely for me um, as a tutor, because they come to me, um, you know, with their cameras and it's like, okay, this is how you start using the camera. Do you know what I mean? And watching them grow, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's just lovely. And they really inspire me. So yeah, I'm just okay. going to um, share my screen. Here we go. Just to kind of, this is the picture. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> well done Sophie um, Very good. Yeah, absolutely brilliant winning image I love it so much yeah and I hope they had a nice time there too yeah I do as well <laughs> gosh lovely thank you so much Wendy um before oh, we thank go, you for um, asking me it's been a real pleasure to look through I must say oh sorry I didn't mean to do that <laughs> um can you just before we go can you um let me know how people can find you and where they can find your book and you know especially about your your latest work do you know what I mean I'd really like the students to kind of have a look at that thank you it's like being on the radio and doing I a puff, puff for your book isn't it it's like yeah it's not why I'm here but as I am here <laughs> uh so my book is called my father's things uh, and I originally crowdfunded for it to help to contribute to the costs. Um, it can now be purchased through all sorts of places like Daunt Books in Summertown and Waterstones Online. Um, however, if you want to go um, to Panoval Press, which is P A N N O V A L, Panoval Press.co.uk, you can order it that way and um, that would be great. Or, as I say, you can nip into Daunt Books in Summertown. Um, I'm on Instagram, and, and I don't know whether you've got all of your wonderful people who've shown their work tonight on, on Instagram, but um, mm -hmm. I'm Aldis Photography, so that's A-L-D-I-S-S, -S, like my surname, Aldis Photography on Instagram, and I'm C.W. Aldis on Twitter. And what's your website? Uh, that is also Aldis Photography. Okay. Co. uk, and I do have to say there is actually another Wendy Aldis who is a photographer. So if you Google Wendy Aldis photographer, you may get her instead. She's a great photographer, but it's different sort of work. Very. She's a wedding photographer, I think, because I I uh, had a look at her. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Not Wendy work. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's not a very usual name, and there we are, two people um, with the same name. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much, Wendy. Really lovely chatting to you. Yeah, super chatting to you. Hope to see you in real life soon. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, thanks very much. Well done, everyone. Bye-bye.